Hello everyone, today we're going to be discussing Brighton's tactics, specifically on the build-out. Alright, let's get straight to it. So here what we have is basically a 4-2-4 in build-out. On paper, usually Brighton lines up in a 4-2-3-1. And once they build out out of the back, especially on goal kicks, they drop into a 4-2-4. So they start off with a deep back line, the two center backs, and their two full backs usually start deep. Typical Premier League or Pro teams, what you'll see is the full backs start high, high and wide. But for the Zerbi system, he likes them deep and narrow. And there's a reason behind it because building out the back, there is a lot of risk to it. So in case they do lose the ball, they do have a lot of players surrounding the ball. So if you have inverted fullbacks or fullbacks that are narrow and deep, they have an opportunity to stop the counter if they do lose the ball. So I'm going to show you guys why it's nearly impossible to stop Brighton's build out, specifically if you press them. They actually want teams to press them because it actually works in their favor. Let me show you guys how. So Brighton always builds out with at least six to seven players, including their goalkeeper. So they have their goalkeeper, two center backs, two full backs, plus the two sixes. Now, they're always looking for the third man combo, specifically with the third man hiding behind the defender. Let me show you guys how. Let me give you an example. Let's say the opponent is pressing with two, okay? And Brighton plays their left center back. <clears throat> Typically, this guy will be responsible to step in onto this center back, and this forward will be in charge of this center back. Again, Brighton is looking for the third man combo. So in this case, the third man will be the near six. Now he will purposely stay behind this player so they can create the third man combo or the triangle. So the opposing, sorry, the opposite six will drop a little bit deep, still behind the gap, right? He, they didn't really receive in front, but they drop deep to receive behind the gap so they can play here and then find a third man combo to break the first line of pressure. So when Brighton breaks the first line of pressure, they tend to overload the midfield. And it usually looks like this. So they usually start with a forward and an attacking mid. And they both split to become two false nines in the half space. So they overload always typically the midfield. And it's always a 4v2. Now, most of the time, these center backs, they don't really want to step. The reason why is because if they step, let's say they step onto this guy here. Now they leave tons of space and behind for Mitoma that's dangerous. Or let's say this guy steps on this, on this attacking midway. In this case will be Joao Pedro. That will leave tons of space for another dangerous player in Soli March. So that's why most of the time you see the center back sag off. And it's always an overload in the midfield. Typically a 4v2. So because of. These tactics here and these principles, you're starting to see a lot of teams now playing the mid and low block on Brighton. The Zerbi is a tactical genius on the build-out. 